Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How's everybody doing out there today? Happy Tuesday. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. And uh, sorry, it's been a while. It's been a while. It feels like it's been a while. But uh, thank you so much for all the patience. And uh, I'm still not 100%, but uh, I'm, I'm almost better. I can't hear out of my right ear at all. I think I'm like deaf. Like half my head works. Not good. It's not good when only half your head works. So yeah. Yeah, I can't hear out of this ear. So all my sound's only working on the left. So that's awkward. But hey, we're here. We're live. And uh, the worst part of my sickness is over. So there's no more pain. It's just numb and it's weird. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, we got Watchdog in the house. I think he was first in the chat, I think. Uh, Chris Biro. Pleasant View Farms, Miss Fire Slaying, Abraham Mendez. Uh, we got Dustin Favor, Kevin Flores, Corey Wandel, Adam Small, Justin Abeta, Bradley Simmons, Aaron Kidder, and Quadruple A. I am going to not talk as much as usual because I just don't want to overdo it tonight. And it might not be a super long stream. I'll try to give you like two hours if I can make it that long. But uh, <clears throat> I couldn't just keep not streaming, so... Yeah, I think I missed enough days in a row. Uh, what's up, Brandon Eichmeyer? We got Kyle Walters dropping the gifted membership. Going to Abraham Mendez. Thank you very much, Kyle Walters. Uh, we also got David Sheikin Dance in the house, celebrating a half a year. He's got that little hen now next to his name. Six months of support. Thank you very much, David. Uh, we got Dave Clan in here, Justin Abeta with the two dollar super chat. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. And then we got Miss Fire Slaying dropping the ten dollar super chat. Says, "Hope you're feeling better and welcome back." Well, thank you, Miss Fire Slaying. Hope you're doing splendid as well. Uh, we got Brian Shyrock. What's up there, buddy? Donnie Whitaker, Andrew Ruprecht. Uh, who else we got in here? <clears throat> Uh, Ryan Bernard, we got Duane Baker, David Childs, uh, welcome, welcome, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, we got like 10 or 11 guys in the server already. We're on a brand new map. Well, it's not a brand new map. It's an old map, but an awesome map. Stone Valley by Lancy Boy. And uh, we've they've already been killing it. They've been working like crazy i think they love this map i think all the guys love this map they've been farming on it like crazy uh even though i've been sick i've been farming a lot with them uh typing to chat with them and stuff because i haven't been wearing my headset but uh, i have been farming with them and lots to show you so let's hop in there and get to it uh, i want to get some uh livestock purchased we save that for the first uh, member stream here for you guys. So we're going to go buy a bunch of dairy cows. Because milk, you know, milk, it's just, you make more money with dairy cows on farm sim than you do with the uh, the beef cows. So we only own two field, three. We own this big alfalfa field. We own this big field over here which I think has wheat or barley growing in it. Uh, wheat. So we got wheat. We got a couple months before that's ready to harvest. Uh, huge, by the way. These fields are all big. This is a 36-acre field. <laughs> and then we got that massive field over there of alfalfa, which we'll be cutting some of that here in a little bit later. And then we also have this field right here that we own. Literally just bought this before I went live. Uh, they're working on it right there. There's uh, Aaron Kitty. He is plowing it, getting it ready so we can plant something in it. So yeah, we own three fields and lots of equipment, big equipment, expensive equipment, but it's been a lot of fun so far on this map. Stone Valley. Elizabeth Sturdy. Thank you for the three pounds. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, what's up, uh, Budman81? Watchdogs is howdy. Abraham. Yeah, Kyle with the gifted membership to Abraham. 
Hello, Frosty. Not feeling too good for two days now, says James. Oh, yeah? Eh. Not good, not good. Yeah, I feel you, buddy. I feel you. <laughs> All right, so this field to the left is like 70 acres. Uh, we've been doing lots of contracts. Uh, you can see the guys out there. Somebody's out there in the versatile uh, doing some harvesting. And it's enormous. That The whole street. This whole side of the road is one field. It's it's huge. So that'll be a big money contract right there. Uh, the bigger, the better they say. That's right, Pleasant. And we got uh, straw, collect straw missions, contract, mod, whatever it's called. So we can bail all of that and make extra money off of the bales, which is super helpful because these fields the average price for a field on this map is about 500 grand a half a mil so yeah you gotta constantly be making money to uh get somewhere but hey we're doing good we've only what can't remember when what day i made this available to the guys i think it was like last tuesday i think it's been exactly one week since uh, I had I got this all up and set, I think I could be wrong. <clears throat> all right, so we are gonna pick up some livestock, which is right up here at the north part of the map. Uh, what's up, PA? Uh, we got good evening from Frosty. You're back. Nice to see you. Hope you're feeling. What's up, Floyd? Feeling much better. Way better than I was. I'm not a hundred percent, but. I think the most annoying part is I'm like half deaf, <laughs> like only half my my ear is working. My Not half my ear. One of two ears is working. My left ear works. My right ear, I can't hear anything out of it. It's like, I don't know. It's pretty messed up. So yeah, I, I'm, I, my equilibrium's a little off, if you know what I'm saying. All right, where do I get these animals at? I'm trying to remember. It's actually my first time purchasing there they are, they're back there. All right, so we're gonna back up there and get us some Kyles. But uh, thank you so much, everybody who uh, wished me to get better. Tons of people saying, get better, Frosty. Hope you feel better. I, I really appreciate everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening. Uh, how's the rest of your family doing? Good, good. My daughter's all over it. She went back to school Monday. Uh, my son got a little of it last over the weekend, but he got over it in like two days. He didn't have the earache or the sore throat. Uh, he just had like a little cold, and then he was good. So, so my daughter and I were the ones that had it the worst. My wife, she didn't get it at all. Nothing, no symptoms for her at all, so she lucky. All right, let's get back in here, and we do have enhanced animal system. So we can buy little babies. But I think we will buy one bull. And then we'll get... Let's, oh, we got a modded trailer, too. You can have up to 36 uh, cows purchased. I think the base game one only does, like, 12 or something. So yeah, we can get a lot more in one haul. And I think I'm only gonna get one haul to start out. So we got one bull. Uh, we'll get we'll get one calf male. And we'll get Let's get 10 female uh, fully grown. And then get like 5 females young ones and then babies we'll get we'll fill the rest of the truck with babies so 19 there you go so we just spent about five eight about eight thousand dollars on livestock we got a full trailer full Let's see if we can take a peek in here and right, look at them all lined up we got uh those are the little babies right there and there's uh, the big mamas. 
And then the bottom floor, there's the bull. Bull's got the front row seat in there. Well, no, no, he doesn't. We got a couple mamas and a baby up here, too. All right, so fully loaded, 36 livestock in there. What's up, Mr. Vanderford? WD-40's in here. We got Jay Master, says hi, Frosty. Adam Groves, Shawnee, hello, hello. <clears throat> What's up, Ashley Daly, hello. Fent Farmer. Wilson makes the best cattle trailers. Do they really? I'll be honest, I don't see many other brands of cattle trailers. <laughs> like, it seems like Wilson's the one I always see anyway. Ooh. It's very tight getting in and out of there. All right, let's get back to the house. How much farm debt do you have? Or are you a oh, whole? We, we started out, I think it was about a week ago when I set everything up. We were a million, like 1.2 million in debt. We paid it all off. And bought a bunch of equipment. I think I put us ourselves in debt again and bought more equipment. And we... We're still in pretty good... I think we're in our second stage of debt. Let me check here. Yeah, we're, we're negative 910 uh, loans out. So we got about a million dollars to pay back the bank. And this will be the... I think the third time. Maybe it's only the second. Yeah, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. So we paid off a million dollars once. And now we're working on paying off another like million dollar loan. But beautiful map. Very pretty map. Lancy boy. He's the, the uh, modder who made this map. It's on the mod hub. Super pretty. It's an American style map. Stone Valley, Illinois. It's based in the state of Illinois. Is that Mandy McKinley? Uh, hey, hey, look who got tired of vacation. Glad to see you feeling better, Frosty. I'm, I'm almost there, Scooty Pooty. I'm almost all better. I couldn't keep skipping nights, uh, even though... I still got some issues going on. I was like, I, I gotta keep, I gotta stream, you know. Merit, yeah, merit. That's true, merit. Yeah, merit. What else? Anybody else got some brands out there? We got Wilson and Merit. What's some other like big name cattle trailers? I, I can't think of any. Uh, what's the Sooner? Or whatever that thing's called. that thing what am i thinking of that's more of a, a horse trailer though which is still considered livestock i think is a horse considered livestock yeah you could stick a horse in a wilson i don't know does the base game wilson let you put uh, horses in it i don't know if it does or not Yeah, I don't know if it does or not. Nope. I mean, it is livestock, but I meant that it doesn't go in the Silver Star. But the, the modded one we're using, you can put 12 horses in there if you want. So yeah, in-game, 12 cows. Modded Wilson trailer, 36 cows. So definitely save a few trips to the, uh, to the animal dealer, huh? All right, let's get these jack whackers unloaded. We got the TLX Phoenix. Love that truck. <clears throat> What's up, Rabbit Rob? Hello, hello. It's Scooty Pooty. Yeah, Scooty Pooty. There he is. We all, yeah, we all do have issues, don't we? Aloha, Frosty. I'm glad you're 90% better. Have a good show. Thank you, Joey. Hope you're doing well in Hawaii. <clears throat> hello, Monica. And who else we got in here? I've tried turning you off and on a couple of times, but I still can't hear anything. App, that's on your end, Elizabeth. I'm sorry. Now, what's up, Eric Taylor? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Gary McGee Jr. Good evening, Corey. <clears throat> all right. Let's get these guys unloaded. So we're going to get them all moved to the husbandry. Oh, I can't wait till this uh, one new mod comes out. Uh, Argosy Gaming just made a video the other day. It's the uh, 
It's the cattle cane. It looks like a candy cane, but it's a mod where it's just like, because in real life, you don't load the cattle in a trailer to move them from one pen to another. I mean, when you get them from a shop, you do, but when you move them from your farm pens, you move them around. Um, there's this mod coming out soon by JM, JMF, JM Modding, I think. And it's going to allow you to, uh, it's going to allow you to just hold that cane and open up the trigger points and take them out, walk to a different pen while you're holding the cane and put them in the next one as if like role play, as if they're behind you, following you as you guide them into the next stall. So that'll be real cool when that comes out. I will use it. Yes, I will. We'll use it. All right, baby calves. Why is it? Oh, is it not letting me put babies in here? Okay, there we go. All right, so all of them have been moved in. Let's just make sure. They're probably out grazing. So they're not showing in the pen, which means, yeah, they're out here. Yep, out here in the open range. Nah. Where are you going? All right, I need to figure out where all they hang out. How far away do they go? That's pretty cool. Yeah, here's the, uh, oh, there's the baby. Yep, here's the open stall area. It's, it's partially fenced in. Nice. Let's get into flight mode. So there you go. They got a huge open area to hang out. Very nice. What do you think? What do you think? We'll get them taken care of. We'll get some uh, straw bedding put down in the uh, actual pen. And... Get them some food made up too. This automatically fills up. Yep, that's already full of water. Pretty cool, huh? Very nice. All right, I'm gonna get the big truck out of the way. The guys are probably wanting to use it. <laughs> All right, this does swing around. <clears throat> Let me see here. Uh, thank you, Derek. Thank you, Temp. Yeah, Tempty. See, there's plenty of different brands. It just we can't. We never think of them. We always think of Wilson. That's like the the main brand we think of when we think of a cattle trailer. But yeah, Tempty's a big one. Mm -hmm. I got a couple modded Tempty trailers for a single player that I use occasionally. All right, so we don't need to get any more animals. I'm gonna disconnect this. Because the guys are most likely gonna wanna use it. All right. Time to get some straw bedding up in here. I'm gonna close this door. And we'll get this door open. So we can get some uh, straw bedding blown into the into the stalls. I have straw over here, and I also got a bunch of bales down there that we've been stocking up. <clears throat> Merits are what we use at our cell barn. Nice, nice. Uh, hi, Frosty and Chad. You have done a great work on the new farm and put an Aussie flag. I put that Aussie flag for you and a couple other Aussies that are on our farm. You're not the only one there, but yeah, pretty cool, huh? Not too shabby. All right, so we got our little lights. I need to get this guy out, so let's go grab a tractor. Give you a little equipment tour. And I tried to make this, like, super uh, multiplayer friendly for all the guys. Because it can get confusing if you're new to the game or you just you don't farm on this map much. Like if you're a member, 
Uh, but here's our uh, swather attachment for cutting grass. We'll be cutting grass here in a little bit. But I even put a little sign there. Whatever helps the guys that maybe we get new members that come in, it's easy. Uh, this is the brand new balers that came out today for 1.9.1 patch for Farm Sim 22. It's the uh, Massey Ferguson 4160V ProTech baler. And then you also get a Fent Rotana 160. So they can wrap bales. And it also has the uh, flip the bale over attachment that you can add to it when you buy it. So it turns it over. Uh, we also got a couple Vermeers. Looks like one of the guys are out running the other one. We got two of them. And then there's our Case Swather, which also got an update on the Mod Hub today. Uh, let's see. Stone, yeah, Stone Valley. Stone Valley by Lancy Boy. That's what we're using. It's on the Mod Hub. Uh, EB is another popular livestock trailer. EB? EBY? I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Sounds like a new one. Uh, but we got our all our nation's flags for the guys that are in the server. We got uh, our Americans, our Englanders, and our Canadians. We got a handful of Canadian guys, and then we got a two to three Australians. We got that all set up. This is where we get our lime, solid fertilizer, and seeds. And this, this this is all actually an alfalfa field. If you were to load this map up, none of this is there. This is a... I built this farmyard for multiplayer. Uh, but this used to be part of that big alfalfa field. So I <clears throat> utilized it for our uh, farmyard. Uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicide tank. And this is where we put any leftover stuff from contracts. Uh, it looks like somebody's out doing a contract, probably liming, because they got the lime spreader attachment. But here's the sprayer attachment. We got a big John Deere uh, drivable machine. And then here's some of our tractors to our fleet. Uh, here's the new Massey. We'll hop in that right now. This just uh, released today on the new patch for the game. It's the uh, 7S series Massey Ferguson. Pretty sharp. That'd be nice. And I got it all fancied up. We got the uh, precision farming equipped monitors and it's, it's decked out. It's quite lovely. Here's a look at the interior. Once the lag goes away. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. Whew. Lag is horrendous. <clears throat> I think it's because we got a lot of activity in here tonight. I think all together we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we got nine people and I keep seeing a couple others that are trying to join it. It's disconnecting them, I guess. So there might be some internet issues going on. Not my fault. G portal. It seems like G portal doesn't like it when you get around 10 guys or more. It starts causing issues every time. What's up, Hoonigan Farmer? What's up there, buddy? The, oh, Eddie. Eddie trailers are a higher-end aluminum trailer. A lot the farmer that show livestock use them. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's back up to the uh, straw blower. Got any Massey fans in here? And I like how it doesn't have the European signs on it. So you can use it on an American map or a European map, and it, you know it's got it still has that American vibe to it. So pretty nice. All right, so straw bedding first. 
We already got uh, some bales sitting up here. Fire up the old JCB. Get some bedding thrown in there. This map mod is a PC only, right? No, it's cross-platform. Uh, the valley map looks really, really good. You like it, Fawzi? That hat does not fit you, good sir. Oh, do you need it? Do you need me to send it to you? <laughs> she ain't locked on, dear, Hoonigan, huh? Are you saying my head's too big for it? What are you trying to say there, huh? Huh? What you trying to say? Uh, we got Adam Small coming in with the two pounds. Thank you very much, sir. It says Team Frosty and sending love from England. Do you like the English flag there, Adam? Got the English flag flying high. Uh, we also got Chad Carlson dropping the $10 super chat. It says, good to see you back. Thanks for streaming under the weather. I'm way better than I was, though. Way better than I was. Last night, got another story to tell you. <laughs> this was, I don't know, I, I don't know if this was part of my sickness last night, but, uh, so, oh, um, I, I don't, I never use mouthwash. I like, I brush, I floss and I brush my teeth, but I'm not a big mouthwash user. Like I did in the, when I was younger, but I, I just, I don't. Well, anyways, last night, it's the only thing I can think of. I uh, gargled some mouthwash. I was like, yeah, we'll kill some bacteria because I'm sick in my mouth, you know? The rest of the night, I don't know if I had like an allergic reaction to the mouthwash, but I've never been, my mouth was in so much pain. Like my tongue was swollen. The whole right side of my face was like getting like numb and sore and it was just the weirdest it, I've never had an allergic reaction and I was like that's got to be an allergic reaction that must be what it's like because my tongue uh, it, was, it was it was wacky not fun not fun at all it's like oh boy oh boy but luckily uh, I slept it off and it wore off and I was fine this morning <laughs> Like, what now, right? What now? Earache, sore throat, and now a swollen tongue allergic reaction. <laughs> you can hear now, Elizabeth. What's up, Pontus Stenberg? Is that tractor part of the update? Yes, I just said that. Eric? Yes. Yeah, you get the S7, you get the S6. Here, I'll just show you guys. Because some people have no idea what the update had. So if you go into medium tractors, uh, you get the MF7S. This right here is the new one. That's the one we're using right now. That's been added to the game. You go into small tractors and go to the S6. Uh, yep or 6S, this was added. That can have up to, <coughs> that can have up to 180 horsepower. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's those two. <clears throat> and then there wasn't a Massey tractor, but there were uh, balers. So if you go into Bailers, you have this guy right here. <clears throat> this is the new one. It makes up to a 150 round bales. Same with the Fent. And then they also gave us two uh, big Bailers now. So we got this. It's a newer, modern Massey Ferguson square Baler. And then the uh, modern Fent Squadra 12 9 day. 
pretty large. Pretty, pretty nice. I like it. And I'm trying to think. I think that's it as far as equipment. So four balers, two tractors, six. Yeah, that's right. That's it. Two tractors, four balers. <clears throat> All right, straw bedding time. All right, let's get this thing turned around here. Does it let you turn it around? I thought this thing, yeah, that thing rotates, doesn't it? Wait a minute. I don't think I'm doing the wrong one. That must be a different thing I'm thinking of. This only goes out the, the right side. I thought you could rotate that around. Maybe I'm thinking of the small one, the small round one. Maybe that rotates around. And you do have to blow the straw on the uh, the cow pen on this map. It does not let you just <clears throat> drop the bale. If anybody was wondering. Maybe it's not going to let me uh, do anything, huh? We have to be on the other side. <clears throat> well, I'll be darn. Let's see if they want us to go down the other hallway. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> it's on the, oh, is it on the other side? All right, that's what I was thinking. I was like, if it ain't that one, it must be the other. Well, all righty then. What's up, the bro edits? Hello. Uh, good night, uh, Big Frosty, and you all in the chat and on the farm. All right, Brian. Uh, yes, I did, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. And how's my daughter? Uh, she's all better. She's all better. Oh, yeah, you can hear now, huh? <laughs> yep, we were on the wrong side. Here we go. We were on the wrong side. Looks like uh, a bunch of the guys are having issues in, in the uh, server. Keep seeing, keep seeing them drop out, come back in. <clears throat> Something must be going on. And the sometimes the patch update gives people a hard time. I was surprised how quick the update was ready on uh, on G Portal. We'll see how much straw we need to burn through to get this all caught up. It's a Boston wall. <clears throat> it's October in the game. Top right corner, it always tells us uh, October. Yep, we're in October. It's a little past noon in the game. Elizabeth, you're silly. This isn't Elizabeth silly chat. All right, let's go get some more straw. Pretty much going to try to get everything uh, topped off and ready to roll. I'm lagging real bad, too. <laughs> Unfortunately. <clears throat> so, probably guys are having the same issues I'm having. Oh, Mac issues. <laughs> You're using G Portal 2, Frosty? Yeah, I don't know what to think about G Portal. But you know what? I've never 
I've been on different. I've been on nit nitrado or whatever it's called. I've been on different. They all suck. They're just. It's just hard to do to make a smooth connection for a bunch of people. It's just. It's always been an issue. It's. A, it's. I've tried so many different ones. Always. It's never going to be perfect, but for the most part, uh, it works decent enough that we are we're able to farm together. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Lewis? Mr. Lewis in the house. Uh, Jeremiah Marpole. What's up, Marpole, man? I'm not going to keep synchronizing. I don't. I don't care, John. Keep trying if you want, buddy. It's fine. It doesn't matter to me. It's all right, buddy. If you want to keep trying, keep trying. You're a tier three, so keep on trying. <clears throat> all right, let's drop another couple bales in here. But we did a lot of farming uh, over the weekend. I hung out with the guys as you know, each evening for a little while. Lots of farming done on this map. But today, I pretty much set up for tomorrow. Tomorrow I plan to farm on the new map. Uh, the valley, or the valley, the old Valley Farm. I don't know what it's called. It's the weirdest title ever, but I'm, I'm going to play on it. It's by Black Sheep Modding. Something the Valley the Old Farm. I don't know. It's got an odd name for the map, but I spent all day setting it up. It just released today on the Mod Hub. So that's where we'll be farming tomorrow night. Played in a match event on Sunday, won six and five, and then shot a seventy. Hey, read no moss. Nice. You shot a sixty-five and then a seventy. Is that what you meant to say? You shot a sixty-five. Nice. Wish I could do that. <laughs> Chat shooting a sixty-five on eighteen holes is that's like pro level right there. That's that's intense. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Jason. The Valley, the old... Sh Why can't they just call it the Old Farm Valley? <laughs> Who calls it the Valley, the Old Farm? But anyways, that's the, that's the one I plan to uh, farm on tomorrow. I downloaded that map, haven't played on it. Yeah, I've, I messed with it uh, most of today. Setting up equipment, getting things ready to roll. All right, how much straw does this thing take? Nice. Well, uh, I think two loads is enough to get them started. The open range cows kind of laying around here. There, there is supposed to be a fence here, but it's a very annoying fence, so I deleted it. But a fence usually goes through this area. Uh, so you would see the cows inside the fence, but it's too easy to run into all the time. All right, let's see how they look. Oh, they're almost full. Let's just go ahead and top it off. Only needs a couple more. Might as well. I ain't going anywhere, right? Not anytime soon. <clears throat> What have you missed, Will? Uh, I bought 36 cows from the dealer, delivered them with the cattle trailer. Now we're getting straw bedding put in. That's all you've missed. And me uh, blabbing as usual. That is all you've missed there, Daddy. See, now it's got me wondering if I can just drop the bales in there.
because I thought we had to go on the other side. So let's see what happens if I just drop him. No. Not so lucky. So you you do have to use the uh, straw blower. That is mandatory. Yeah, the, uh, the map I'll be on tomorrow night has a pretty cool uh, garden, a custom garden that makes, like, melons and red cabbage. And it's cool because you got to give it water, and then you got to give it straw. If you don't give it straw and water, it won't uh, produce anything. And it's, like, right on the farm. It's not, like, one of those annoying ones that requires a bunch of other stuff but and it's close to the animals <clears throat> I love the farm setup on that one like everything's right there on the main farm yeah that'll be fun well st <coughs> stick that last one on top huh What's up, Intense? Hello, sir. <clears throat> uh, Chris Schallenberger, what's going on there, sir? Stetson Phillips is in here. How's Chris Schallenberger doing? Intense. Intense uh, kept me occupied last night with his stream while I was working on stuff. He's working on his campground on Farm Sim. He plays Farm Sim too, guys, huh? Check them out if you haven't yet. That's intense gaming. Very intense. Why is this going down so slow? There we go. All right, let's get the rest of the uh, straw in here. <clears throat> I feel like you always use the JCB towel. It's my go-to. Yeah. I, I, I have a Massey one, a modded one I use on single player. Uh, I use that a lot on, like, multiplayer. Or single player, dang it. Multiplayer, I always use... JCB. I prefer it anyway. <clears throat> right, that should be just about full. Man, that thing takes a lot of straw, huh? What's up, uh, Alex Deaton? I never farm. That is all for this guy. He's the. That's right. You're the wood chipping. Did you check out Azura? That map I told you about. I feel like you would enjoy it. I told Poto about it too. The uh, the whole build your cabins thing I thought was pretty slick. I'm almost there, Ryan. I'm almost all better. Not 100%, but good enough to be back streaming. I think uh, maybe another day or two I'll be back to 100%. <clears throat> My gaming computer came in today. Can't wait to get FS22. Oh, baby. You're going to like it, baby. You're going to like it. I'll right, we'll try to... Carefully get this backed in. Look at those skills. Goodness. Alright. 
right, then we're gonna switch right over to the uh, mixer. And we'll make a batch of uh, TMR. Can't remember how much this uh, little mixer holds, but. <clears throat> Found a lot of fun mods today, so thanks for getting me hooked back on the mod watch. <clears throat> yeah, I looked at all the screenshots, it looks sweet. Good evening, Frosty. Hope you're feeling better. I'm just getting over having COVID. Not ah, Scotty. Hope you feel better, Scott. Um, there are three other gardens on that map too, on small open, one big open, and one big with the greenhouse over it. You you do not need them right away unless you buy them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did a walk around. The map's pretty darn cool. I'm, I'm excited to farm on it. But yeah, I just have the little garden behind the house, the main farm you start out with. Yeah, yeah, you see? Yeah, it's what I got, rabid, okay? Why don't you just relax a little bit, okay? Has your hair growing back yet, rabid? He's shaved and shaved his head, his face. He's just a big old bald guy now. Let's see if we can get this up to like 30%. That'll work. All the other goodies are down at the other stall <clears throat> or shed. The other shed. Uh, we do have bunkers that we can maybe utilize in the future, but for now we've we've got bales that we've been storing up. Here's our uh, storage shed. Tonight we're going to be making uh, more wrapped bales, but here's what we have made, which is, it doesn't look like much, but those are big. Those are uh, 6,000 liters each, and then we got plenty of uh, hay bales. Yeah, probably grab one of each. Or maybe I'll just bring a couple clobs of this stuff up to the front. That'll be better. Oh yeah, and this American Falls is the next map coming out by Lancy Boy, and it's almost done. It's almost, you, you'll be seeing that release very soon. <clears throat> so that'll be another new map I need to check out. But yeah, Stone Valley, this, that's what we're on right now. Stone Valley and then American Falls will be the newest addition is his newest map. Right. Nah. Nope, no bronca my bales. Nah, I'm not a big fan of th that much. That's a little silly. <laughs> These are just your base game amounts. Yeah. Dip it. That to about 65%. Need another one of those. Yeah, you can see the guys just uh, knocking out those contracts. There's uh, another contract income popping in, 13 grand. Fancy. 
American Fall should be pretty neat based on some of the screenshots I've seen. Oh, it will. Uh, it's it's going to have the same amount of detail as uh, this map. Yeah, this map's uh, very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Seventy thirty. Yeah. We'll put hay in for the rest. That'll give us some TMR. <clears throat> uh what's up Matthew Galmez? How are ya? <clears throat> You won't believe what happened with me last week, last Wednesday. You're right, I will not be able to guess that. No, nope. I will not be able to guess what that was. How's Deep Creek doing tonight? What's up, buddy? <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna grab, just grab this whole stack, bring it up front with us. And this isn't just uh, regular hay. This is alfalfa hay. See how the little icon at the bottom right's a little different next to the uh, 14,500 liters. Yeah, it's uh, Windroad alfalfa. Tethered in Windroad. So alfalfa hay, pretty much. Uh, my dad is able to drive now after his heart surgery. Good. Good. So he had a successful heart surgery. Those are so scary. I'm, I'm glad it went good for him, Mr. Gelmez. Man, yeah, that's scary stuff. Open heart surgery. I remember when I was little, our neighbors growing up, they were older at that time. He was like probably 70. <coughs> maybe 60. Maybe 60-something. And he had uh, open heart surgery. I was like maybe 10 years old. To me, it was like, what? Open heart surgery? That sounded crazy. But yeah. Literally put a new heart in or repair it. It's crazy. <clears throat> We don't want to dump these in. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter, but we'll just tip it. Come on, baby. That's going. Oh, <laughs> this better work. Oh, you better hope these work. That is hay. Oh, did I mess? I think I messed up. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, these are only sellable. All right, Gumby. You can load up all can have someone load up all the uh, what I thought was going to work. All these hay bales can all be sold for profit. We need to make actual grass bales. Doesn't that just stink, huh? Alright, so those are only for looks, only for profit. Excuse me. We got intense gaming with the eight month anniversary. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, baby. intense. Yeah. I forgot to flex my membership by it. Eight months of supporting a great dude at Jack Wacker level two as well. Thank you, intense, which I told him not to, but uh, he wanted to do it anyway. So. 
<clears throat> and then we got uh, Jacob Nukster dropping 20 gifted memberships. Alrighty then. 20 gifted memberships. That is a laundry list of uh, people that just got gifted memberships. I don't know. I, I don't even know if I can read all those. I'm going to have to exit the chat window to do that. <clears throat> but uh, I'll name off some of the people that got it. Uh, David McWaters, Phil Damone, Dan Dack, Fent Farmer, Floyd Stutenger, David Turville, Channing Hensley, Tanner Sewell, uh, David Morris, Jim Rhodes, Justin Geary, Dan Me, Andrew Bedard, Matthew Gelmas, and Eric Taylor. And uh, Pete Sisler, Adam, or Alan Williams, and Wayne Dale. 20 gifted memberships from Jacob Nukstia. The Nukster Nighter. That's, that's, uh, that's a lot of gifted subs there. A lot of goodness. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Wow. <clears throat> Uh, Chris Vero, did Chris get a gifted there, or is that just a mem is that is that a uh, anniversary? It says two months there for Chris. Oh man. So yeah, I messed up on the mix, but that's all right. <laughs> we will just uh, feed. We'll feed them a little bit of forage just to hold them off in the meantime. <clears throat> Man, look at all that money coming in from sold straw bales. Nice. All right, hopefully it lets us at least feed them the forage. It's probably got too much straw in there. Yeah. Dang it. All right, so we just need to add more silage to this. I should have checked that before I parked everything. <clears throat> so lots of thank yous in the chat for uh, Jacob Newster dropping 20 gifted memberships. <clears throat> thank you very much. He's always showing love to the show and... uh dropping 20 of them today. Chase! Buy some hay bales to finish your mix. Nah. Gotta do it legit, Johnny. Gotta do it legit. It's alright. You can feed cows forage on farm sim. They'll still get whatever that forage is made of, which in this case will be... the... Uh, something. But yeah, it'll be alright. <clears throat> uh, Jacob with a 13 months at level 3 says a little late birthday present from me since I haven't seen you since. What day, when was your birthday? And why would you send me? It wasn't my birthday. <laughs> and how old are you, Jacob? What are you up to now, huh? About 60? You're getting up there, daddy. I'm kidding. But happy late birthday. Alright, see, it just turned into four. Yeah, we'll just put it all in there. <clears throat> or it's just not going to take it, it looks like. But yeah, I just wasted that. So yeah, I should have bought hay bales. <laughs> ah, dang it. I'll be darn. I done jacked that up. I'll mix that up. You think that would mix it up into forage? I uh, love your channel, entertaining. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what's up, Sean Swarm? And Tony Martig. Hello there, laddie. <clears throat> That 
stinks. I can't feed him anything. I think if I would have left the straw out, it might have let us feed him. But yeah, I pretty much just wasted a huge batch of food. And I've got nowhere to uh, dump this. You know what? I'm going to dump it all right over here. <laughs> I don't even care. Let's dump it off to the left here. Of course you can't do it there. And I don't think I can do the old fill. Yeah. <clears throat> Bang it, Bobby. Bang it, Bobby. Oh, goodness. I'll just make a big mess right here, huh? <laughs> ah. What's up, Weston? I done screwed up. <laughs> oh, well. You know, what are you going to do, right? All right, so... Ugh, that stinks. That means we need to turn the alfalfa field into a grass field after we cut it one last time. <clears throat> All right, I am going to buy a couple hay bales. Just book. Oh, we'll just buy two of them. <clears throat> we are gonna make a mix. We, we, uh, all right, we're gonna get her done. Stevie gets to clean that up. Uh, Jim Waiting, thank you for the ten dollar super chat. That's Jim Waiting. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, it was last Thursday, 420, and I'm 28 years old because I want to share the love. Well, you did. You shared it. Thank you, Mr. Nukester, and happy belated birthday. Jim Wheaton, thank you for that first ever Super Chat celebration there with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Glad you're feeling better, Frosty. Eh, sort of, Tony. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have... Uh, I probably should have took another day, maybe, but I can't just not stream, you know? I think I took enough days off. <clears throat> but we here, it's all good. It's all good. I'm going to drop both of these in here. to 35. Oh. Oh, got lucky there. <clears throat> we will make TMR, I promise. This time it will work. I was not aware that uh, <clears throat> the alfalfa bales did not give, did not work for a mix. I'm sorry. So if anybody tries this map for the first time, do not uh, go through all the hassle to make alfalfa hay bales 
for your TMR because it's it's not going to work. That was my fault. I did not realize that. Uh oh. <clears throat> 35, 45, 55, 65. Wow. Ah. <sighs> Tom, did I get your super chat? I did not. One second, buddy. Let me see. Let me see. <clears throat> Tom Howell. I'm sorry, Tom. Yeah, I missed that. Uh, five pound super chat says, I'm glad to see you're back, Frosty. Hope you're feeling better. Your soothing voice will be good. Will be godsend tonight. Much love you, massive Jack Wacker. That's Tom Howe. Thank you, sir. Yeah, baby. I'm sorry I missed yeah. that. That was right when the 20 gifted happened and I must have looked over it by accident. Thank you, Tom. <clears throat> Excuse me. How many questions did I... Uh, I haven't seen any from Kevin yet. I have not seen any questions. But we do have Nick DeBar also dropping a $20 super chat. It says, good evening, sir. Frosty, hope all is well with you, good sir. I've been struggling, Nick. I haven't streamed since... Tuesday? Last week? Yeah, I had the sore throat, earache, fever, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, thank you for the massive $20 super chat, buddy. to send a message to Gumby real quick. <clears throat> All right. I gotta check this real quick. So yeah, we put a little bit of straw in there now. Don't want to overdo it. No problem, Frosty, and thanks. Uh, for bringing, thank you for reminding me, Tom. Thank, yeah. Always, uh, anybody, feel free to yell at me if I miss your your super chat or something. Sometimes I get caught up on other stuff and I miss it, and I don't do it intentionally. I promise. <clears throat> keep grabbing all these partial bales dang it uh new song luke combs fast car great song check it out chat and frosty luke combs all right i don't really listen to much luke combs but if i get around to it i guess i listen to it our cows sing i've never seen a cow bard Oh, Johnny. Get your ears cleaned out. Mr. Mac. Mac Daddy. Alright, we should be safe to throw uh, straw in it for the, the rest, I think. And then, once I feed the cows here... Uh, then I'm going to get the big swather out, big case cutter, and we're going to make some big old wrapped bales, which that actually won't take too long. Making hay on that big alfalfa field, that takes a while, but 
Making the wrapped bales? That's easy. We'll just cut the grass. And then uh, have two guys bailing at the same time. We'll get it done. You know what I'm saying? Wow! Oh, I'm glad I pulled that out. That almost turned into forage. We don't want that. Dang, that was close. That was close. I gotta start paying attention. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, Frosty. We almost ruined two loads in a row. was so close three yeah we had like two or three percent away from ruining the load luckily i caught it in time and threw some hay in there <clears throat> check the message you sent in game Ugh. uh the message i sent in game fire slaying doesn't like how it's shaped yeah, I didn't say that. Oh, well. What do you mean? Huh? You got me confused now. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Alright. TMR is all loaded up. This thing holds 24,000 liters. I think this is just the end game TMR mixer. There we go. Very nice. Oh, man, that bull's hungry. He's the first one in here. He's like, oh, 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 oh. I got some food, daddy. Look at him go. He's about to make a left-hand turn right into that stall there and start eating. Come on, you know you want to eat it. Yep. Oh, no, maybe. Yeah. But anyways, we got it. We got him fed. <clears throat> uh, that almost sounded inappropriate. <laughs> uh, Sean Swarm. Thank you, sir. Also coming in with the $20 super chat. This is glad you're back. Well, thank you, Sean. Mr. Swarmy. You hopping on the farm, Sean? Are you in here? I'm not in Discord tonight, chat, because I, I just can't handle it. I'm having a hard time handling uh, this alone. But I can't, like I said, I can't hear out of my right ear. And I'm getting headaches real easy from the uh, earache. It's like an ear infection, pretty much. It's bad. So I just I can't handle too many voices going on. So I told the guys to uh, forgive me, but going without Discord tonight. All right. Feeding is done. I'm going to need two guys to uh, help me out with the alfalfa field. I'm going to get the old swather hooked up and ready to uh, cut. Get this hooked up for whoever's going to be driving it. Got a nice brand new combo. Uh, thank you very much, Sean Swarm. <clears throat> What's up, Eric Bersi? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to make sure we got this set to 150. There we go. Just need to make sure the Fent gets set to 150 as well. We're going to run this machine right here. Get some mile fire It's 
up Lucas Smith. <clears throat> Zach Ryan, hello, hello. Scott Brown, welcome, welcome. <sighs> Where's the feed truck? We're in multiplayer, buddy. Hey, Frosty, I hope I, I'm feeling much better, Scott. <clears throat> All right, so let's go cut some grass. So eventually, this big alfalfa field is going to get plowed over and turned into a grass field. Swath dropping, yes. Okay. Right, and off we go. Oh, you getting on now, Sean? All right. Good luck. A lot of guys are having issues with lag, but hey, it's worth the shot. Let's give it a shot. Looks like somebody already started making some hay at one point. Cal Bar oh Cal Bard. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> but just as just since the uh, show started, you can already see how quickly the guys are bringing in money and doing contracts. So it doesn't take very long. They get, they get her done pretty quick. you guys hear the music tonight? I can't. But that's because I can't hear very good. Is it loud enough? Or can you guys even tell it's on? <laughs> Don't know. I slightly hear a little music in the background. Whoever uses the uh, Fent Veiler, can you guys make sure they change it to 150? I think it's set to 125 on the Fent one. All right, I'm also going to get... Some uh, whatchamacallit going here. Some straight lines for Mr. Lewis. <clears throat> I like that, Mr. Lewis. Nice straight lines. I was thinking of you. Even though it still doesn't cut at all. <laughs> Excuse me. So there's the uh, new Massey combo. Adam Hanks driving it right now, looking sharp. And it's got the tip, the tip attachment to flip the bale over. Keeps the bales from rolling down the hill. Very nice.
fucked up James Hall. It's okay if we miss little patches. It's okay. I'm doing good, James. Doing good. Cruise control just does not want to work. My goodness. There we go. Jeez, kept shutting off on me. Thanks, Daddy, for the straight lines. You're welcome. They're somewhat straight. As straight as the the game will do it. Uh, Kevin Flores. $50 super chat. Oh my goodness, you crazy animal. Guess you just got their tax refund, oh boy. <laughs> if you want to get rid of your earache, try using a cone. It's when you roll a newspaper up really tight into a cone shape, put the small end in your ear, and light the big end on fire. Trust me. I'm just going to say thank you very much for the $50 super chat. How's that sound? Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Flores. And I'm not sure if I'll be uh, trying that out, but I, I do believe you. It's called candling. I think Adam likes the new the new uh, bale setup. That is a nice, pretty combo. The massy combo. <clears throat> you know what? You know what just got me to thinking? Gumby. The way that... I think Rip Riley was the one that started making some hay. Now that I look at it, the way that he cut half this field... We should plow half of it, keep it grass, and still have the other half alfalfa just for profit, for making alfalfa. Or, or we can make wrap bales out of this. And then the grass section could be what we make our uh, hay out of. Yeah, we could just split this field in half. Yeah. Does that mower and header work on grass? Yes, that's what we're doing. Well, this is alfalfa, but same thing, grass. Yeah, you can cut grass with it. I use this thing all the time, Joshua. You're always watching. Yeah, I, I, cut, I cut grass with this all the time. Gets the job done. Old case, bringing in that alfalfa. Silly goose. What's up, Gene Edwards? Donald Snodgrass says you miss some. Yeah, every time I go to line up to go down another aisle, jacks it up. It misses the corner. See, it just wants to go back on that one. <clears throat> it's because that that big header on there, you gotta make sure you're lined up right. Beautiful. 
fresh and clean. Have you got both traffic and crop damage set up on here? Traffic's on. Crop damage is off. Thank you, Dan Patterson. Uh, let's see. Sounds like a fire hazard. That's what I was thinking, Matt. <laughs> and it doesn't sound... It just doesn't sound safe. He just really wanted to help Miss Fireslane. He wanted to give me some worldly advice. I should put traffic, or I should put uh, crop damage on. They don't really need a second bailer. He's uh, keeping up easy with me. Uh, that advice doesn't sound too safe to me. That's an accident waiting to happen. Tony Martig with the $20 super chat. We'll give you some hearts. I've been dropping too many nuclear blasts. We'll just go with the hearts. Thank you, Tony Martig. Just glad to see you back on here, Frosty. I'm going to be missing out on some streams during the weeks for a while. I have softball starting up Thursdays and Fridays. Good. I miss, I used to play softball all the time. I miss it. When I lived up north, I loved it. I coached it, played it. This is a blast. So do not say sorry. You enjoy yourself. What position do you normally play, or do you just play wherever they tell you? I was, uh, I loved playing shortstop and third base. <clears throat> so, yeah. Probably gonna end up plowing that other half up there and making it grass. Something. Something. And thank you, Mr. Martic. You gave me my, you know, Miss Fireslam. Everybody's different in what they believe as far as uh, sicknesses. There's, there's a lot of things I, I don't like about going to the doctor because the stuff they give you can uh, ruin a lot of the things your body is made to fight off in the first place. So it actually can break you down even worse. But that's just from my own experience and course my own opinion but yeah you know we're all different the way we handle our sicknesses i'm i'm a a naturalist i guess you could say i like to naturally get over sicknesses i mean i use remedies and natural ways of getting better might take a little longer but it's uh putting less crap in my body if that makes sense <clears throat> See? Every time I go, it goes around the edge right there. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, hey, Frosty. Glad to see you're back. Best videos ever. Thanks for being awesome. Will you? Awesome. Thank you for the very kind words there, Scott J. Douglas. Is he? <laughs> Frosty the Naturalist, that's right. 
Oh man, look at that money. Woo! We're sitting at almost half a mil. There's about 10 guys in the server, so they're knocking out those contracts. This is not a flat field, by the way. Look at the slope on it. It's like a big dip. I keep hitting when I want to lift. It's trying to lift. Catch it, catch it. There we go. Look at all those marshmallows out in the field. <clears throat> I'm mainly at shortstop, but also play short center, second base, just wherever needed. That's kind of what I was if you needed me to go somewhere, but I love shortstop and third, because that's where all the action's at. Love it. You get a good workout playing there. Stay busy. Dang, more money coming in. Oh, uh, eventually I'm going to sell some flour unless they sold it all. They might have sold it all already. But if there's flour to load up, uh, there's a cool little... I made a little dock to uh, manually load. I got universal mod, load mod. But uh, still, I can drive up to the back of the trailer and load it up. It's pretty cool. So I'll be doing that at some point. I don't even hear any mu music. Anybody else hear any music? It's like not even playing anything at all. Not surprised, though. It always just stops. Suns vs. Clippers fixing to tip off. What's that? What's that series at? Pretty good series from what I've heard or seen. I got rid of the NBA channel uh, because it's dumb. It, it doesn't play games that are broadcast on ESPN. It doesn't play games that are in your local area. I don't have local cable. I don't pay for it. It's a waste of money for, to me. So when I got the NBA channel, I was thinking, I'll get to watch all NBA games. No. Every time I wanted, and it was, I swear, every time it was a game I wanted to watch, it was one that they couldn't play for me because of uh, it be on, being on whatever, ESPN or blah, blah, blah. It's like, whatever. So I canceled the, uh, I canceled NBA. Like, no, no, no. And my son, he was just as frustrated. Every time we wanted to sit down and watch something, we couldn't. <laughs> so, like, might as well cancel it. Uh, Rip Riley, thank you for that $5 super chat. Says, sorry about the bright yellow swath through the field. I did not read the chat. No, actually, it's, uh, it's perfect because I think that upper part of the field is where I want to have... Uh, we're going to plow that upper area and turn it into a grass a grass field instead of alfalfa. So it's actually like a nice little guideline. I kind of like it. Kind of worked out pretty good. <clears throat> Sounds good to me, Ian. <laughs> Two base and home. You are a danger zone if you're not on your toes. 3-1 Phoenix. Yeah. I kind of want Phoenix to win it all. I don't know if they can. I don't know if they got what it takes to win all, like the whole finals. But uh, it'd be cool that if they did. It sure be cool if they did, right? All right. 
So somebody did sell all the flour. I said I was going to deliver some and they sold it anyway. <laughs> oh, well. Let's do the uh, outer edge here. Selling a ton of bales, though. Uh, that's why I go with pirate <laughs> video. If the so-called networks are going to mess around, they can afford to lose money. I just said, isn't that kind of rude, though? Like, you're... I was already paying... 15 bucks a month. Like, that's a little pricey for uh, one station. It's just the NBA network or game pass, whatever it's called. That's quite a bit of money to watch one sport, in my opinion. So, when I subscribe to it, I, I figured, oh yeah, we, we'll be able to watch whatever game we want. I could barely, like, half the stuff I could barely watch. Oh, so, so the guy that saved it for me, for my stream, and told all the other guys, he ends up selling it. Okay. Yeah, you're a jack whacker, fire slam. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> oh, leave it to fire slam. <laughs> he specifically left it for me to do on stream, and then he's the one that goes and sells it. What? A silly guy. She's good, happy, and healthy. My first granddaughter was born last Friday. Congratulations, Dan. Yeah, I didn't stream Friday. I was, uh, that was a very bad day for me. <laughs> so, no stream then. But that is super awesome. Hopefully, beautiful and healthy, I'm, I'm imagining. So how many how many is that now? <clears throat> how many granddaughters you got now? Glad to see you back. What's up, Lee Bennett? What, are we all caught up on contracts already or something? Mine is gone. Dementia is a terrible disease. <clears throat> yes, it is. We should buy another swather. Mr. Uh, Mr. Bailey or Gumby, if you want, uh, buy another swather. You can dress it up however you want, and someone can start cutting the uh, upper field or the upper half. Even though we're almost done with this. It'll just give someone something to do. Oh, she's your only one. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Congratulations. 37. Yeah, that's a young grandpa. But that means you'll be a grandpa that will be around for most of her life or well, maybe her whole life well no for for a long time is what i'm trying to say so she'll have a grandpa that's there for her all of her growing up years that's awesome Uh, Steve Lettington with the four-month anniversary says, hello, hello, Frosty. Good to see you back. Hope we are feeling better. I'm feeling much better. I'm not all out of the woods yet. I've still got some symptoms, but way better than I was. 
So thank you very much, Steve. <clears throat> so many marshmallows. And the cool thing about this alfalfa is it just grows right back. You don't have to mulch it like we had to on uh, UMRV, which you don't have to mulch it on UMRV anymore either. They fixed it, so it just grows like grass. So, thank you, Chase. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say Ma Matthew Bailey. He's a new farm manager. He got promoted yesterday. He's uh, he's always on the farm, and uh, he knows what I expect. He's mature and knows how to handle it all. So I uh, promoted him. So we got Stevie, who Stevie Gumby, and Mr. Matt Bailey. They are our farm managers. Did you feel the explosion, Tony? I did hear about an explosion. How close was that? Some of you in the chat. There was an explosion at an oil refinery today, five minutes away from me. One person died and one injured. Ugh. Yeah, I heard about a, another explosion. <clears throat> last week? or I can't remember if it was last week or what. I guess I'll just head over to the other field and start cutting that. It's right next to this one. It's going to make a crap load of wrap bales. <laughs> going to have marshmallows laying everywhere. Had a propane tank explode 14 miles from me, and we felt it. That was two years ago. This happened today, says Tony. All right, so someone else is uh, out there cutting grass. We got a two-man team. This won't take long with two guys doing it. <clears throat> Ooh, hang on. Hit the wrong, the wrong control. <laughs> Oopsie. Looks like the uh, guys just got a new crop planted into our new field across the street. Very nice. Definitely cutting some grass. Look at the top right corner. All that money. You guys tired of cutting grass yet? Huh? Huh? You're always saying cut grass. I think I've been doing it for what? 50 minutes? Maybe an hour? <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> this will be loads of silage. Won't have to worry about silage for a long time after this.
No Discord? No, I can't. I can't handle it tonight, buddy. Nope, I let all the guys know. I was like, I'm gonna sit out tonight in Discord. They all were understanding of it. But next week we'll be back to normal. I should be completely over all this crap and good to go. Now we could actually have a second bailer going. Because we got two guys cutting grass. So if there's someone bored, hook up to the Fent bailer. Just make sure it's set to 150. You can catch, you can uh, bail some, make some rat bales with us. Turn GPS off, Isaiah. I seem to be doing better. The lines might not be perfectly straight, but at least we're not missing any grass. But this side of the field will look a lot neater. Thursday. Thursday, I want to do Valley Spring. Valley Spring had an update, which sadly, but not, I'm, I'm actually fine with it. It uh, requires a new game save. So our Irish farming on Valley Spring will uh, we'll be on the updated version of that. So you remember all the tight fences and the stone fences like all over the place on that map? Well, now there's an option to uh, make them disappear. You can like hide them while you're working on a field and then just put it back to normal. Mr. McKinley joining in on the uh, swall thing. But yeah, I'm going to start over. So for that series, it's going to continue. I think it's going to be like the sixth episode, but we're starting from scratch. Hard economy. Zero money to start with. Where are you going? Are you running away from me? I'm going to follow him. <laughs> Did you run away from me like that? We're supposed to be together. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dreams work. Did you leave me? Tried to leave me, chat. Follow him. <clears throat> oh, back up to uh, half a million again. So we bought a swather and already made that money back. Mr. McKinley's rocking the uh, challenger there. someone to transport all the bales. <clears throat> all right, we got one baler. Oh, there's baler number two hooked up to the fence. Let's see who's inside that tractor. Mr. Fireslam. 
Mister, I saved you some flour, but I felt like delivering it anyway. Fire slam. <laughs> oh, he's so silly. <laughs> All right. So just this field alone keeps us busy. You can get a lot of guys working. We've got two balers, two swathers. Uh, one guy can probably hook up to a trailer here soon and start picking all the bales up off the field. So it's like a five-man job. Pretty cool. Uh, Kevin Moody coming in with the five gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming memberships. Thank you very much there, laddie. Got one going to Donna Atwell, Outlaw Railroad, Cody Fricks, William Z. Stratton, and Gary McGee Jr. All getting gifted memberships from Kevin Moody. Thank you, Kevin. <clears throat> I didn't say I was planning to do a warehouse. Mr. Nunkster said it would be fun to bring it back, but I never said I was going to do it. I said maybe. It was up in the air, but... They're, uh, we're busy enough with all the farm work. I don't think we'd even have time for a warehouse, to be honest. <laughs> I need to give you an equipment tour, chat. We got some nice equipment that we've already paid off. We got a big versatile harvester. Maybe I'll take a little time out from cutting grass. We'll let Johnny Boy continue here. And I'll just give you a quick little tour here. So here's what all we own so far. Uh, we got a big old John Deere planter. That's uh, 1775. And then we got a big versatile RT520 harvester with the front tracks, 40 foot header. And then we also have a big case with the 40 uh, corn headers for each. And then over here is the big old Challenger. And it's got. I forget, 600 horsepower, something like that. And it's hooked up to a big seed hawk, uh, seed driller with the big tank extension. And then uh, here's our green 8400R John Deere. And it's hooked up to the Landall mulch cultivator. And then we got a large John Deere plow with the uh, Versatile, which that... I think it can pull that barely but yeah and there's jim old jim hanging out on the farm he's just kind of looking out into the sunset he's like i ain't got nothing today i'm just gonna get tan on my bald head there's rip riley looking for stuff to do yeah we got all kinds of guys in here i'll hop hop back in the swather Pretty nice equipment though, huh? Not too shabby. <clears throat> right. Uh, I can't wait for the Survivor Series to start back up. Are they really starting that up again, huh? How many seasons of that is there? Kevin Flores with the 13 months has just wanted to flex. What are your thoughts about Tucker Carlson? Tucker Carlson. Who the heck's that? I'm trying to remember. That's uh, that's a uh, that's one of those speaker guys, right? Is that who Tucker Carlson is? I can't keep all the names straight, but right, he's like a spokesperson or whatever. No problem, Frosty. Glad to see you're back. Thank you, Kevin. Oop. So got one little patch to do here. All 
All right, there's Aaron Kidd getting ready to pick up a bunch of bales. He forgot to activate the front trailer, though. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, we got double trailers because the, these fields on this map are huge, so we pull uh, double trailers to pick up bales on the different jobs we do. Right. That field is finished. Oh, yeah. The fence is disappearing on us. It's doing that weird glitch where the fence just disappears. There's actually a fence going along that side. I don't know why. Multiplayer glitch. fuel up. There's Reed. Ah, oh, it's a nice little combo he's got there. <laughs> I don't know what John's doing. Johnny got lost. Yeah, this is our big farm yard, though. Top off the fuel. Thirty-five dollar. This parked up and bada bang, bada boom. <clears throat> What's up, Paul Wright from Australia? Did you see the Australian flag flying high there? Yeah, see? See what I did there? Very nice. up ice dragon ice dragon have you made it in yet to the new farm i think you did yeah 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 i think you made it in here last week or something i know i always miss you i think i think i think ice dragon scared of me or something he never farms with me he never comes in on these nights but he farms but anytime i'm in the server he's not there it's like he's just scared. He's scared to farm with Frosty. <laughs> He's scared. I don't bite. Alright. So all that's parked up. Oh, I didn't know I had lights on. <clears throat> Alright. So... These, yeah, we're going to just end up storing these and let them ferment. Kind of move this out of the way for them. This ought to be fun to watch. Let's watch, see Mr. Kid do his backing skills here. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, oh. <laughs> he had to do a little readjustment. What is that, Slim Shady in there? The bleach blonde hair? <laughs> the old, the original Slim Shady. 
Yeah, it looks like Eminem in a in the farm truck. This this might take too long. But yeah, you you get the point. He's trying to put bales in there, chat. <laughs> I'm not near my. I'm joking, Ice Dragon. I was just being funny. All right, so bales, bales. Um, I'm gonna spawn over and show you, chat, what that little uh, loading ramp looks like that I put in. Look at look at all that action. Look at all these triangles. That's that's all the guys in here. Uh, right over here. So this is the uh, flour mill. And then I put in a little ramp to manually load pallets of flour. So we I've used this this before. It's got the uh, drive on ramp. And that's the TLX uh, trailer from the Mod Hub. So with Universal Auto Load, you can grab a pallet of flour with the forklift, drive up up here on the ramp, and it automatically takes it right around here and loads the flour up into a crate. So sitting right there, we got nine about a thousand liters because we ended up selling it all but pretty cool nice little setup huh uh that ramp on all platforms i th i think so it should be all, all it has is a little thing you click here to open and close it so i think it is yeah makes that fun I think we only got one plow. Kind of wanted to do the upper side, but I guess we'll do the lower side. I'm just going to pretty much cut it in half. Before we do that, let's put like a little dirt path to divide the two to divide it into two big fields uh, we'll pretty much let's see here yeah I'm gonna just put like a little I'm gonna just make a fake little I'm gonna continue this little latrine thingy or ditch whatever you want to call it <clears throat> Didn't go quite as straight out I was hoping. <laughs> ah. Guess I can't make that image. Yeah, we'll turn that in the dirt instead. There you go. There we go. Just a little dividing point there. And this part will be... I kind of want this to be wrapped. I think I'll plow the other side. <clears throat> Had a big enough plow chat? <laughs> What's up, Sim Station? How's it going, brother? 
what's it called so I can look it up, says Eric. Uh, what's what called? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about now. I'm sorry. Uh, what's up, Ronnie Gold? I love it, Frosty, and yes, it's on all platforms, that mod. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So the, uh, the ramp is on all platforms, and the ramp is called... The one we're using. It's in construction. I think you go into tools. Yep. It's called the loading ramp with dock leveler. Loading ramp with dock leveler. And it's lizard brand. There it is. And it's on the mod hub for cross platform. All right, so we'll get the big ADAR to work here. I don't think we need to allow to plow fields because it's already a field. Should just plow, plow it. Yeah, very nice. All right, so we're gonna keep that half alfalfa and then this half eventually is gonna be uh, planted with some fresh grass. So we'll have half and half. This will be our hay side. And that'll be our wrapped silage bale side. Maybe nice. Oh, the ramp. Yep, yep. Thanks for stopping in there, Sim Station. It's getting work done on uh, Stone Valley. <laughs> Look at that pile of bales. I wonder how many bales we brought in all together. Think chat. Too shabby. Watch him scoop them all up. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Missing any spots? Nope. Doing pretty good. Oh wow. Wowzers. Got all those bales cleaned up off the field already. <clears throat> all right. Just can't get enough of GPS steering. I like it to be straight. <laughs> yep. Looks like a slick farm you guys have going. We, we, we own three fields now. We bought this one right in front of us. They already flipped it. They got it planted with something over there. And uh, we own the field over to the left. It's got wheat growing in it. And then we just literally just split this one in half. Just finished cutting. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. Pretty map. Stone Valley. Got Rip Riley over there dropping lime. <laughs> A 
country, Leonard. Did they fix the plowing texture with the update? Um, it's not. See, here's what happens. And why did that miss a spot? Why is it missing a whole piece like that? That's annoying. Um, the only time you see that weird texture is. It's, it's hard to. Exp I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. <laughs> if it's stubble, it you plow it. Now, if you were to harvest and then mulch and then plow over the mulch, it's not going to give you that plow texture, if that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> but for something like this, we just cut the field and we're plowing it. It'll give you the proper texture. I was going to go back and forth, but I'm like, nah. Stone Valley 64. But last night I was hanging out on the farm here when Intense was streaming. And I harvested... Me and Reed Larson, we harvested 150 acres together on two contracts. <laughs> It took forever. But it was relaxing. It's quite relaxing, yes, no? <laughs> Rip burn right through traffic. Get it done. Ah, it is not uh, catching all that, dang it. Yeah, I'm just not even going to use it. Yeah. Whatchamacallit. There we go. We turned off GPS. Giving me a hard time. It's not covering... Not plowing the whole field. The whole width. <clears throat> Glad to see... Thank you, Thomas. Why is that tractor over there dancing and throwing a fit? They probably picked it up and moved it. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Jim. Have a good one, Mr. Wheaton. Thank you for the super chat, brother. And thanks for uh, hanging out on the farm. Oh, my goodness. One little piece. Loving this. Thank you, Logan. Thank you. Phil, with the half of year, just turned into a hen. Says Jack Wacker, level two. Says, howdy, Frosty. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you, Phil. And thank you for the six months as a uh, member. Appreciate you, buddy.
Yeah. You have to be good and straight. Well, sometimes the widths aren't perfect either. You're just cutting your turns a little short. Trying my best, Scooty. Put all those guys on the rooftop. They work. They usually work, but right now they're having a dancing party. Look at that. That's a lot of green. A lot of, lot of John Deere green. <laughs> oh boy. They're jumping for joy. Are there no contracts to do or what? What's going on here? Are all contracts like finished on the map? Must be. You're out of contracts. Wow. I guess we need to hurry up and get this done. And I, I think I'll probably be done, to be honest. After I get this plowed, I'll probably call tonight. Then I uh, hopefully feel even better tomorrow and we'll slowly Try to get back into those four hour streams. <laughs> I didn't harvest last night. I was seeding. I was doing a bunch of sowing contracts. That's what it was. 150 acres of sowing. I was using the big seed hawk back there, and Reed had a contract tractor and uh, driller. That's what happened. What did Gumby say? All but 13 hour seeding and we are using our seeder. Gotcha. <clears throat> Where's the farm man? There's no contracts to do, Rhett. They're, we're literally all caught up. They're just waiting for me to plow. And there is a seeding contract, but we're currently using the seeder to plant grass. Which I hope they're planting grass. <laughs> That'd be bad if they weren't planting grass. But I'm sure they are. But yep. I'll be done after uh, this field's finished up chat. So... Heads up tomorrow. I'll be on a brand new map. The the Valley, the farm or something, whatever the heck it's called. But uh, it's a new map. It's awesome. I'm excited to uh, start farming on it. And that is by Black Sheep Malding. So we'll be checking that out tomorrow for the first time. Part of me wants to kind of paint over this corner back here. I, I think I will. Yeah, that's annoying. <clears throat> Let's fix that real quick. Let's get that fixed right there. It just is not really nice. I don't like it. And then we'll just kind of round the field off right like that. Yeah, did you see? You see what I did there? You liked it, didn't ya? And that's just someone's yard to not mess with. Stay away from it.
Oops. What do I get? Messed up a little bit there, but good enough. All right. The Valley, the Old Farm. Yes. Very dumb name, but very nice map. <laughs> I need to try that map out. It's good, Ice Dragon. I, I worked on it all day, setting it up for tomorrow. It's pretty much almost set up. I got all the equipment laid out. Just need to uh, take my thumbnail for it and get my game plan of what I'm going to do on that farm tomorrow night. I'm going to treat it as like a Let's Play series where we just, I use the money. I didn't cheat with the money. I, I just took what was, sold all the equipment that was given, replaced it with my own, sold a field and bought a different field. And, uh, yeah. And we're almost a million in debt on that map. So, I'll be fun. Uh, Kevin Flores dropping another super chat. Second one tonight. Dropped a massive one earlier, and now he drops another $30 super chat. It says, Frosty, have you ever had good street tacos? Oh, boy, chat. I told you, chat. Kevin, he runs out of questions, so he goes back to old questions. He's like me. He can't remember nothing. Yes, I've had some good street tacos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what entertained you for the past five days? Uh, to be honest, this farm, uh, hanging out with the guys... I didn't get to, like, talk to them, but I type chat with them the whole time. So we, we spent a lot of time over the weekend uh, getting this all ready for tonight. So, yeah, spent a lot of time with the Tier 3 members over the weekend and while I've been sick. <laughs> uh, kids are back to school and Miss Frosty's busy doing her thing. I've just mainly been resting and sleeping as much as I can. The earache was so bad, a couple days I could barely sleep. Like, I lost a ton of sleep, so... Yeah, earaches are no fun. Not fun. Right, plowing is complete. Thing's a beast. You know what? I think I'll just plow over this. No sense in leaving grass. That's that's like a little built-in grass thing. Let's just turn that into a field. That would make more sense, right? And it'll look nicer all as one big grass field. There we go. Make sure we turn that off. There we go. All done. Much nicer. Yes, Frosty, and we all had fun with you. Thank you, Ian. Who all can join you on the farm? If you're tier three, you're able to join the farm. It's tier three members. Uh, you have campfire burning on that new... I have the campfire on my, the survival map. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I plan to probably do that on Friday. I'm probably going to take a break from multiplayer on Friday and just 
the rest of the week will be single player. All right, let's fill this bad boy up. So yeah, there's the menu for the next, uh, the rest of the week. Tomorrow, the old valley, the old farm, whatever the crap it's called. <laughs> We're doing that new map tomorrow. Then uh, Thursday, I plan to do the updated Valley Spring. And then Friday, probably do, well, we will do survival farming. And yeah, I got, I, that, that's how the show will start out, Scooty Pooty. I already have it all set up. Got it all set up and ready. Oh, I was supposed to park behind the uh, cat. John Deere got her done pretty good. The Valley, the old, I know, it's just one, it's just such a dumb name. Why did they name it that? That's gonna, I'll never remember that. The Valley, the old farm. Like nobody says the twice for one thing. Ah. Can't believe nobody told him to make a different name for it. And I guess it's a, a remade map. Like, it's it was their map from 19, and they changed it over to 22, but it's got a lot more new stuff than uh, the 19 version had. That's the cool thing. Like, all these maps that have been transferred from 19 to 22... Even though it's the same map, a lot of them are a lot different because of all the new things that Farm Sim has added with the, uh, the productions, the new productions, the, uh, all the platinum expansion stuff, the auto bail trigger points now. So it's a lot of the maps have changed. Even though it's the same map, there's just a lot of new features for it. But that's probably going to do it, guys. We'll fly around for a minute and see this transformation. Look, they already got lime. They're getting lime on the alfalfa field, getting it all prepped up. All right. Who's, who's rocking this? Oh, it's Gumby. Uh-oh. Watch out. Gumby's behind the wheel. <laughs> so he's uh, planting grass. Oh my goodness! This is, did somebody somebody did plant the wrong thing? <laughs> oh my goodness! Good old Duan was planting sorghum, so that's what happened. Duan was planting the wrong thing, and Gumby came in here, and now he's uh, planting grass. Oh, Duan, you jackwhacker! That's it. Chat, you can't let Duan make fun of me anymore. Next time Duan from now on, when Duan makes fun of me in the chat, you guys have the perfect comeback. Be like, Duan, why don't you leave Frosty alone and go back to planting some sorghum on the grass fields? Alright? I think they forgot the of the valley of the old farm. <sighs> yeah. They didn't put of in there, did they? Still, it's just too much. It should just be called the Old Valley Farm and leave it at that. It's just too much. I told you to slap his nipples off. Yeah, well, next time. Next time we will. Uh, who in your family has the next birthday? Do you follow... Oh, wait a minute. I never finished all of uh, Kevin's questions. I'm sorry. Do you follow the news daily? Absolutely not. Who in your family has the next birthday? My daughter. Nah, next month. This is coming. Yeah, next month. May. It's my daughter, May. Then I'm in June. My wife's in July. My son's in August. They're all. We're all in a row. 
Hope your earache goes away. The earache's gone. I'm just like deaf. I can't hear anything out. And I keep leaking fluid too, which is gross. Um, thanks for the stream. Thank you, Kevin. Sweet little man. Uh oh, it's gonna be stuck on. But uh, that's gonna do it, chat. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed Stone Valley. This will be our new 24-7 uh, Tier 3 member farm for quite a while. Uh, this is only Episode 1. So, hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one tomorrow at probably 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll be on the Valley, the Farm. The Valley... <laughs> Wait a minute. What's it called? The Valley, the Old Farm. That's where we'll be. The Valley, the Old Farm at 8.30 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. All right. That's gonna do it. And thank you all, uh, all you guys in the server that farmed. Sorry I wasn't in Discord. Um, next week things will be back to normal most likely. All right, chat. That's it. Sim Station, peace out. Scooter's Workbench, Mr. Steerman, thanks for all the help tonight. Uh, Mr. Bailey, thank you for uh, helping out as the farm manager. Uh, Mr. Firesland, thanks for delivering all the flour and not letting me do it. Uh, David Turville, awesome stream. Thank you, sir. Dan, me, thank you. Phil, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to see y'all. I hit that like button on the way out. I'm going to try to get a decent amount of sleep and good rest and hopefully feel even better tomorrow. All right, chat. See you later. Peace.